as we fall towards this thing, as we approach the black hole. If they could see our watches, they would see our time tick more slowly, more slowly, more slowly, and they would see our time stop on the horizon. Stop, this is incredibly important. As we get closer to the black hole, there are now actually two journeys. There's our journey as we see it, and then there's our journey as you would see it from far away. And they are very different. Why? Because black holes are distorting space and time near them. And that's absolutely central. There's nothing weird, well, there's something weird there, <laughs> but there isn't according to Einstein. Albert Einstein was the one who realized that space and time are actually one thing, space-time. And space-time is stretchy. Space-time responds, warps or curves, to matter and energy in the universe. The theory that Einstein published will say, give me like a ball of matter, and the equations will tell you how the fabric of the universe is distorted. A black hole is the most extreme example of this distortion that we know about. The math tells us that reality very close to it and very far from it are not the same. So it looks to us like the universe is speeding up and it looks to you like we're moving in slow motion. Now we're crossing the line where no light can ever escape to reach you again. For us, we don't feel that. But for you, you never actually see us cross it at all. They would never see us fall in. 